This is video number 11 in a series of videos where we're making a tank battle game in Unity for Android mobile devices. Uh, in this video what we're going to do is introduce the enemy tank into the game and um, we're going to give the enemy tank some uh, health right? and uh, we're going to modify the uh, shell uh, that the player fires using the main gun of uh, the player tank uh, to allow uh, for when the shell uh, hits the enemy tank it will deduct health from the enemy tank and once the uh, health of the enemy tank is uh, less than or equal to zero uh, then uh, it will uh, destroy the enemy tank Okay, so there's a lot to do here, uh, but we'll start off uh, first uh, by making or uh, getting an enemy tank. Okay, a uh, couple of ways of doing this. Uh, you may already have your enemy tank, so just import it into the game. Okay, as we did in uh, one of the first videos in this series. Okay, if you don't know how to do that, then watch those videos. Uh, but here, uh, I'm going to assume that you uh, you do know how to import your tank. Um, if not, then you don't have an enemy tank. You can uh, right-click on your uh, your main your player tank here, duplicate it, uh, rename it, and make a prefab of it. Okay, okay here, and I've got one here that I made earlier to save time called Enemy Tank One. Okay, so Enemy Tank One is uh, in this case, for example. Uh, is quite simply the chieftain tank with everything that I don't need uh, removed. Okay, so for example, here the enemy tank quite simply has a, a script called enemy health attached to it, which I'm going to talk about in a moment. Uh, it's been re tagged to uh, enemy tank, so make sure your enemy tank is tagged enemy tank. Okay, you can do that here, make a tag, tag that enemy tank. Uh, you've got some colliders here. Uh, I remove the collider from the engine compartment from the chieftain tank because this tank doesn't have uh, one of those. Okay, and here <coughs> one of those colliders are not necessary. Okay, and uh, here we have uh, uh, again these uh, three colliders all tagged enemy tank. Okay, and I've still got the turret and I've still got the barrel and I've still got the end of the barrel. Okay, but effectively this tank, uh, this is prefab, can't move. Okay, and it's just going to be uh, a target for us uh, in this uh, video. Okay, good. So uh, what we need to do is, first of all, we need to um, uh, give this uh, enemy tank here some health. Okay, all right. So uh, let's uh, have a look at uh, a script called enemy health script. Okay, and again, uh, as, as with all these videos, uh, create... Uh, C script, uh, call it enemy health, put it in your scripts folder, okay, uh, attach it to the uh, enemy tank, okay, and let's have a look at it. Uh, so you can take a screenshot of this if you want, and I'll talk through it now. So here uh, we have the, we've given this enemy tank a health of two, uh, we have a health counter, uh, which, uh, which uh, is used to uh, determine uh, what the uh, current health of the um, tank is okay uh, we have a ball here uh, to uh, set true or false whether the uh, tank enemy tank has been destroyed or not okay uh, we've got some particles enemy tank particles which uh, when the tank is the enemy tank is destroyed we're going to display some additional particles okay a bit bigger than the other one so as we can clearly visually see even at a long distance that that tank's destroyed okay and here we have a public game object turret okay so uh, gonna, gonna, what we're going to do in the, this uh, demonstration is uh, when uh, the player has uh, shot uh, the uh, enemy tank uh, two times okay here two times uh, it will display some particles and it will turn off or set set active uh, to false of the turret so you can't see it anymore right effectively uh, the tank becomes uh, useless because it has no turret or gun okay so there we go now let's have a look here um, we have uh, here we have in awake we set the health counter uh, to the value of enemy health right this value here 
if you have a small tank okay a light tank which doesn't have a lot of armor then maybe the health of this tank it only requires one shot uh, to destroy it if you have a like a medium uh, armored tank okay yeah you it might take two shots and if you have like a heavy tank very heavily armored it might take three shots to destroy it okay again you can set these values so however you wish all right so here i'm going to assume that to destroy this enemy tank it's going to take two shots from the chieftain tank now that's probably unrealistic in the real real world because it would most likely destroy it with a single shot but for demonstration purposes i'm showing you here that you can determine you can set the health of the tank depending upon your the tank you are using okay so not all tanks are the same so here we have here uh, what we're going to do is uh, when we uh, when the shell fired by the player tank hits the enemy tank we're going to run this function this public function here uh, called take hit and uh, we're going to give this function uh, a value and uh, first of all it's going to check to see whether the tanks already destroyed or not if it is then do nothing but let's assume it hasn't already been destroyed so it's going to reduce uh, the health counter by the value sent over from the shell that hit it okay and uh, we'll deduct that value and if the health counter is less than or equal to zero then yet yeah, that tank the enemy has been destroyed so we're going to run a function here we're going to send a we're going to send a, uh, a message to the console to confirm uh, that yes uh, the the health of the tank has been uh, Reduced, okay and um, here we uh, once it's zero okay less than or equal to zero uh, we're going to say okay we're going to set the ball to true yes this tank has been destroyed this enemy tank so let's create some particles uh, at the position of where the tank is the enemy tank at the rotation this rotation and as I said uh, here I'm going to turn off the uh, turret and uh, the barrels attached to the turret so effectively you'll just see the hull of the tank now uh you know in the real world uh if it, you know you you could you could you could actually do something like okay you could change the mesh all right so you could have like two meshes which is one mesh which is where the tank is uh, uh in uh, in good shape okay as it should be and the second mesh is when uh, like like uh, wreckage okay so you could you could switch the uh, mesh here as well if you want to but uh, for demonstration I am going to um, just uh, turn off the turret okay so yeah as I said take a screenshot if you need to and uh, make sure this script is attached to the uh, enemy tank here and we're going to need to drag the turret enemy turret into there and we're going to need some particles okay so i showed how to do particles in a previous video uh, but for those uh, if you forgot okay you can go here effects okay particles create some particles however you want okay uh, make a prefab okay i've got them down here particle enemy uh, i just made them quite big here okay like scales of 10. Uh, i don't use many particles here because it's like a mobile and just make sure that you're the material that you're using here uh, here this uh, is uh, mobile friendly okay good as before so here we have an enemy tank and we've got a health script attached to it uh, but that health script won't do anything all right because uh, it, it, the, the, the shell has a script attached to it which needs to um, find this enemy health script and deduct some health from it so second thing we need to do is we need to look at the shell okay so that was a prefab if you remember we made a tank shell prefab uh, in a previous video uh, it's got a rigid body here and it's got a shell script shell script okay attached to it okay so open this shell script up it's a c script okay uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to use this script uh, to uh, run this function here which will deduct the health from the enemy tank and then cause it to be destroyed once its health is 
zero. So, how does it do that? Well, as before, it said, okay, uh, here on collision with something else, currently what it's doing is it's uh, is it's creating some particles and it's uh, making a sound uh, and uh, it's uh, destroying itself the shell and it's sending a message to the console now what we're doing in this uh, video is we're had adding this bit to it and this is going to say okay on collision enter something else have a look and see if there's a script attached to that thing called enemy health and if there is okay if there is an enemy health script attached to it, if it's not null then run the function take hit in that script enemy health and send over a value of one okay and then destroy the shell okay all right so it's the same as in the previous videos okay but we've just added this bit to it and this is going to access this enemy health script so here it says okay if there is a script attached to whatever it's on collision enter run the function take hit send over value of one well here is the function that, that we're talking about called take hit and it's sending over a value of one okay and that value is deducted uh, minus equals uh, from the health counter okay which is two which means you need to hit it twice and then it will destroy it okay so take a screenshot of that if you need to And again, let, let's just take so something about this. Like I like to do things that you can modify, right? Okay, so it's not all fixed in there. You can you can modify it. All right. So like here, for example, uh, said here. Okay, this is the shell script. So not all shells are equal. Okay, like not all tanks are the same. Like, okay, so you might have uh, you might offer your player uh, options of different types of shells that the uh, tank can shoot at the uh, target okay so if it's a regular shell okay regular tank shell it might only have uh, like a power of like one okay it only causes a damage of one to whatever it hits but if the uh, if you offer something to your player like for example okay they you know they can get some like really powerful shells okay like more powerful in whatever way whether they they, they um, you know have to win them find them or buy them in the shop whatever it is you can say okay right if we're using this powerful shell then then send over a value of like five to this this enemy health which basically means right it's not only going to wipe out this but if you've got like a, a very heavily armored tank that's got like a health of a health of like five or ten you know with one of these super shells super tank shells that you know it, it it'll destroy it with with just one shot all right so it means that you can modify you can modify the uh, power all right or the uh, damage that uh, that uh, each uh, shell has right again all right so you can kind of tailor make it good so there you go right so always make sure you've saved uh, that and uh, yes that's already attached to the uh, tank shell prefab and uh, made in the previous thing so what we've done here really is we've said okay we've got our tank working all right we're firing off this uh, shell and we're kind of like now it's all up to the shell all right and that's kind of like in the real world because once the tanks fired the shell the tank really can't do anything apart from just watching shit see where the shell lands right so and the and it's so uh putting the script onto the shell okay uh is uh you know basically passing over the responsibility of what happens uh, on impact okay so again it's like in the real world so here we have uh, uh our enemy tank okay all tagged up enemy tank with all the colliders we've got our enemy health script attached to it uh, we've got our prefab of our tank shell We've just modified the shell script that we made in the previous video okay and uh, now we're going to uh, save this whole lot here file save scene and uh, we will press play and test it okay now remember uh, always good to have a look at this console to see whether it's working or not okay 
so even though it might be working visually there might be something in the background that's not quite working so the console is kind of useful for telling you that if there is a problem so we'll have a little drive over there and when it, the commander's found something okay gunners uh, been told to destroy it so enemy tanks sitting there okay all right let's fire right okay so good so we've hit that uh, hit that tank that enemy tank there we had some particles which is what we expected but over interestingly over here in the console it says okay enemy tank health is one good because it started off with two it's been hit once by this normal tank shell which has a damage of one so now its value is one and the shell destroyed is one because we fired one shell at the enemy good so that means that if this is working correctly when we press this shoot again uh, it should uh, yeah destroy the tank all right so there we go so enemy tank health now is zero correct okay, it's been destroyed two shells were fired yeah okay we're looking over here okay and as you can see i decided that for demonstration uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to when the tank is destroyed we're going to uh, destroy the turret and the barrel um, by set active uh, false okay so if you look over here now enemy turret uh, up here let's turn this uh, unclick this here so it's no longer set active which again is correct and uh, also i don't know if you noticed there but there's also a little bit of physics going on as well because we're using physics which again is quite reasonable because um you know let's have a look here when a, when a shell and some impact you know you'd expect that to move the uh, whatever it's hit okay so let's just have a look this time for the physics okay so we'll just right let's shoot one over there good right right so did you see the physics on this so watch this when it takes a hit see that it moved as well so that's great all right that's working really well right thanks very much uh, for watching the video uh please subscribe to the channel give a thumbs up if you like the video and uh in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh enable the enemy tank to move around okay so it becomes a moving target all right thanks for watching again and yeah please subscribe thank you